Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Williams Fitness back again with another video. So, to continue the Then and Now series, I want to cover B for Bill Grant. Bill Grant is just fucking phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm going to touch on Bill's career, first and foremost. Um, and I'm actually going to read um, a little clip from Bill Grant's actual website, which is billgrant.life. And it's under a little section called Competition History. And I think it reads quite well. So rather than listening to me waffle, I'll just try and read, read my way through this. History shows that Bill went on to have a successful career as a professional bodybuilder. In 1968, he entered his first series com serious competition, Mr. USA, and placed a respectful sixth. Then, however, he completed the very same year in the Mr. America, where he placed 17th. This shook Bill into a realisation that he needed to train harder to come back stronger for the following year. There was a slow and steady progression through the ranks as Bill climbed to the top of his game in 1972, where he walked home with first place in the Mr. World. He again took first place in 1974 Mr. World and Mr. International. Bill's career has been uh, filled with top places for over two decades, with competitions not only in the United States but also across Europe. With over 44 professional comp competitions under his belt, it's clear to see that Bill is a true champion. Now, Bill actually finished his career professionally um, on stage at the IFBB 1988 uh, Night, of, Night of the Champions. And I think there is a couple of videos on that on YouTube. Um, I think there's a few two-parters. Um, but it, it's definitely worth a watch because you you've got some real classic classic guys from you know the, the golden era on stage on that night and it was it just it didn't no one cared who won because it wasn't like oh the best of the best because this was years after they'd had their like their main part of their career it was just i just thought it was awesome just to see them all on stage together so obviously bills won um you know mr world and uh, mr international back then there was a mr everything there was so many different shows and different categories. It wasn't until the Olympia come out that it was like sort of the Premier League, the best of the best of the best at that time, and where people did start actually traveling globally for bodybuilding. Because don't forget, okay, we have, you know, the Mr. Europe and this, that and the other, but back then they weren't traveling as much as people thought. You know, if there was a uh, Mr. Miami or Mr. fucking Second Street, Third Floor, people would go to whatever was closest. Um, so the fact that he did travel to Europe means, it, to me personally, shows more of a dedication to the sport and to the profession. Because again, these guys weren't making a great deal of money from bodybuilding. If you think bodybuilding isn't that popular today, imagine how what it, what it was like back then. I mean, to us as bodybuilding fans, we think bodybuilding's popular. It really isn't. It's a very, very niche, uh, and I use this loosely, sport. Um, and, uh, you know, as some people might say, it was a beauty pageant. But Bill Grant used to travel. Um, he used to get, you know, as, as far and wide from Canada to Chicago to Europe. Um, he put the graft in over those 44 professional competitions that he had under his belt. And guess what, guys? This dude, this legend, still trains today. This I love. I absolutely love stories like this. I'm not bothered if he's Mr. World or Mr. Fucking Second Street. I'm not interested. I like looking at people's careers, but I also love looking at people that are training now. And, you know, I'm not. You know, even if it's just machine work or PT, like when you get the Francos and everybody in Gold's Gym. Tom Platts and you know they're pushing people I, I just love that I thrive on that stuff it gives me more of a motivation and and uh, a drive to do what what I'm doing with bodybuilding you know because I don't forget I'm just a fan that's it I'm just a fan I've been a fan for what pff, 25 years now you know I am in my 30s guys believe it or not um and I just really do love looking back. And Bill Grant is one of those guys that I love looking at. I love seeing when people post clips of him on the, on Instagram, whether he's you know he's training in golds or wherever he's wherever he's training. I just love seeing that he's still got that love for for this sport. So, like I said, Bill's obviously had a very very successful career, and I would say that was very successful. Um, a lot of you guys seem to think that oh, because they haven't won a Mister Olympia, it's not been successful. The Mr. Olympia is one win. Okay, it's probably the greatest win, 
But to be a Mr. World or a Mr. Universe back then, or even a Mr. International, was still big at that time. You know, it's like winning the Champions League before there was ever a World Cup, for example. You know, obviously those two didn't take place at the same time, granted. But context, if there was only a Champions League and you won that, and then later, you know, years and years down the line, they came out with something else, it's completely different. So Bill did have a fantastic career. Um, his website, again, is www.billgrant.life. I highly recommend you check it out. He's got news, photos, clips. Um, I think there's some sort of merch stuff on there, whatever. But go over, have a look, guys. I'd highly recommend it. And on that note, guys, I've been Williams Fitness. You've been you. Peace. Peace.